Hi all, welcome to Team of the Week 20. Looks a pretty tasty-ish Team of the Week if we get some of the individual cards that we kind of like in this. So we can smash links be awesome, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at G is a legend. All the links are down below for publishing the channel and social media links as always. We scored 15 out of 23 last week for Team of the Week. Could have got a little bit better but I'm not going to be too disheartened nonetheless. But Cezanne, Cruz and Mertens are potentially some of the cards we could look forward to. So Viviano made 8 saves, saved the penalty and kept a clean sheet for Sampdoria in their 1-0 victory over Roma and that should kind of guarantee him a team of the week, if not something far wrong. Ari has a goal and a clean sheet for PSV in their victory. Um, due to lack of defenders really that stand out this week, I think he has a strong shout. Then from there we go to a second in form in the form of Naldo who kept a clean sheet, he scored a goal and got a good match rating on kicker and um, was part of the team of the week so that should go in his favour. Vendel, a goal, a clean sheet as well and a good match rating on kicker should go into his favour quite nicely and looks a nice little card actually. Um, the goal was a penalty I believe so be wary of that. Samu Castillo, one goal, one assist. You can also consider Baca and Fornos who also got one goal, one assist but for what I seem to understand Castillo got the best match rating on Marca so that will go into his favour. Cruz got one goal for Real Madrid, you can consider Ronaldo, you can consider Marcelo, but be fully aware, um, they've just had team of the years, I am Ronaldo's two goals with penalties, he's also, a, and you'd probably want a little bit more for a second, uh, in form really. This got two goals, two assists for Istanbul, but you can spare, if that's not getting in form, something's far wrong. Um, Charisma, two assists, now Tolisca got two goals but he's already in the team of the week, so Charisma's two assists might just be enough, and due to the lack of standout options, he might just get in, um, it would just be under his um, SBC card, so be aware of that. Um, Castro's two goals, one assist for Perth Glory in their victory, absolutely ran right. I believe it was a cam, so that will be even nicer for a card, and very appealing if you want that card. Now for Pedersen, got two goals um, up top, very, very impressive. Um, got one on kicker as well, which will go in his favour. Now it was a 2-2 draw against Dortmund, but the one on kicker is very hard to knock and that should go in his favour for getting himself in a second in form. And Merton's got himself two goals. One was a penalty though, but due to the lack of standout options, I feel that's going to go in to his favour for this week's team of the week. Will be a nice in form as well, and will probably be very popular amongst the community. Then on to Jensen, who made six saves and kept a clean sheet for Utrecht in their victory. Uh, I'm sorry, draw even, no, no, draw even, get it right. That's shocking to me. Um, but still, could be a nice card. If it was a win, I think it would have went in his favour, but a draw um, should still stand out quite nicely for him. Um, Joe Bryan, one goal and a clean sheet for Bristol City. Um, these guys have been playing, they've had their hard running games and they had a big win at the weekend there to help them get some momentum back in the league. So, good shot on him. McKenna, two goals. One of them was from like 40 yard, eh, 40, 41 yards out or something. I've seen the highlights for it and it's a peach. If that doesn't get him in his form, something's far wrong. So both are two goals, one assist. Um, very impressive for th his team in the second Bundesliga. And should be cheapish, I would imagine. Then for Abruzzo, got a hat-trick um, in the mon one of the Monday night games. McDonald, two goals, one assist um, for AFC Wimbledon. Usually three goal contributions should be strong enough to get you in. And AFC Wimbledon striker should have just under the goal that I imagine. Then D Thomas, a hat trick as well for Raul Valcano. And then Marcelo, one goal and a clean sheet for Atalanta in their 3 0 victory. Had to kind of think who else could stand out, and he seems to stand out quite nicely. Hani got a hat trick, but it was a 3 3 draw against Standard, and it's because it's one of the biggest games in Belgium that might just go in Hani's favour and will be a nice card. I'm sure if he gets an inform. Berkus, one goal, two assists. This guy absolutely ran right for Feyenoord and was just unbelievably insane. And I think should get himself a nice um, inform. This dude, the Iranian winger for AZ Alkmaar, got one goal, one assist, and a very, very impressive match rating on like, quite a lot of sources like who scored Dutch websites as well. And was part of and should stand out really nicely. And then Cezignon, Ryan Cezignon, two goals for Fulham. The guy seems to just run right. I know he just had a second in form that was at left back a few weeks ago, but um, I think he is going to get his third in form just because of the lack of standout options. And a lot of people are beg will probably want this card. Imagine his team of the season when it finally comes. It's going to be absolutely mental. It could be one of the best cards I've ever seen. But as I said, this is my team of the week, guys. Hopefully, you find yourself. I know you could include Coman, Ritter, Boateng, Keane. 
plenty of other cards. Let me know in the comments down below who you fancy. Smash like, so always sub to the channel if you're new, and I will catch you all later.